Afford a board are loaning me the Reeves Darlington Flyer and I could not be more excited about it. Let's hear it. <laughs> simplest fuzz pedals I've ever used. It's got a single volume knob to control the output level and it's got two two position switches. 300 pounds for a fuzz pedal with two switches and a single knob and they still sell out within minutes. I'm going to put this pedal through its paces. I'll run a few different guitars through a few different amp plugins and we'll see what this pedal is like. So the Reeves Darlington Flyers are built by Marcus Reeves' daughter Izzy. The Darlington Flyer is a single transistor fuzz where you've got two different transistors that you're able to choose from. The Darlington Flyer and the Bipolar Junction. The other switch on here is a fat narrow switch. The switch is between the fat control and the narrow gauge. If you're expecting to see a gain knob on a fuzz pedal, this one is maxed out internally. You control the gain by using the volume knob on your guitar, which is not really something that I've tried with fuzz pedals before, so this could be interesting. We'll start with the tone that they recommend in the manual, a sort of edge of breakup tone. So for this, I'm gonna be using my Moore S900 into Amped VX30. We'll try out some other plugins later on, but for now, let's hear what this clean tone sounds like. Now let's engage the Darlington Flyer with the transistor set to Darlington Flyer and the fat switch set to the narrow gauge. So as you can hear, the fuzz pedal does have quite a lot of versatility to it, though that's mainly from the guitar's volume knob and the pickup selection. I quite like this workflow, it's not something that I've done before and I'm finding it to be really inspiring. Let's change up the fat switch over to the fat controller setting and hear what that's doing before we move over to the other transistor. <laughs> Thank you. 
okay, yeah, you know, this pedal is pretty spectacular. I am really enjoying this. Now let's try out that bipolar junction transistor. So while the Darlington is sort of smooth and saturated with very little gating, the bipolar junction is the opposite of that. The manual says the bipolar junction is louder, more aggressive, and you get more of that sort of Velcro-y, spitty fuzz sound. We'll stay on the fat controller for the fat switch, and then we'll switch over to the narrow gauge and see what that's like. try out that narrow gauge on the fat switch. Yeah, so the bipolar junction is definitely more of that sort of gated sound. I found that it's almost quite hard to play to at times because it's cutting off so much of your dry signal. However, that might change when we swap out to something like the Revstar. Before we do that though, we need to try out a couple more amps while we still got the S900. Firstly, we're going to go for the Amped Gemini plugin. The Amped Gemini plugin is based on a classic American combo. Let's hear that one clean first. Let's 
just mess about with the pedal and see where we end up. That was a lot of fun. Now we're going to switch over to the Amped Flagship plugin on the Naked channel. This is going to be sort of a big stack sound, so we're running into a 4x12 impulse response here. Again, we're going to hear that one completely dry first. Right, now let's engage the pedal and have another play around and see where we end up.
Okay, now it's time to switch out the guitars. So as promised, I'm gonna switch over to my Revstar and we'll see what that's like. Okay, here we go. Yamaha Revstar RS820, currently tuned to drop D. Let's hear how this one sounds dry. We're back to the VX30 plugin. Let's kick the pedal on. Again, we'll just have a play around and see what works. And this was just so much fun. I'm really enjoying this pedal. Finally, we're gonna switch out to something a little bit strange. We'll try out a bass six. Now, I don't imagine you're gonna be seeing too many other demos of this pedal in drop E, but you know, maybe that's what you're here for. So let's try this one out. This is the Harley Benton JA Baritone, currently tuned to drop E with Winspear's 15 to 80 gauge string set. Now I know the target market for this pedal is gonna be those sort of vintage soaring lead sounds, but let's hear what it does in some super sludgy territory. We're back on the Amped VX30 for this. <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> Let's mess about with some more settings for the hell of it, but my god, that sounded so good right out the gate. shook the note out of the end of that sustain there. That was strange. So no surprise, I really love this pedal. It's definitely not the kind of thing I'd usually gravitate towards, but sometimes it's nice to try things so far out of your comfort zone that it forces you to play in different ways. Now I'm a diehard metal player through and through, but this video was some of the most fun I've had playing guitar in a long while. I'm trying to get over this massive grin on my face right now. I'm loving this thing. So I came into this video expecting no fuzz pedal to ever be worth 300 pounds, but you know, this one, <laughs> this one's done it. Reeves have really tapped into something special here. What a spectacular pedal. Congratulations, Izzy. You've really done something magical here. So that's all I've got for this video. I'd like to say another massive thank you to Affordaboard for loaning me this pedal. If you'd like to check out Affordaboard's website, please do so from the link below. If you'd like to see some of my other demos of fuzz pedals and the like, I'll put some of those in the description box too. That is everything I've got for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Kai.